Hello. Uh, let's do a question. Minimum number of frogs croaking. So you're given a string of, of frogs which represent a combination of string croak from different frogs. Each multiple frogs can croak at the same time, so multiple croak are mixed. So turn the minimum number of different frogs to finish all the croaks in a given string. A valid croak means a frog is printing five letters C-R-O-A-K sequentially Right, so it has to be in that order. Frogs have to print all five letters to finish a croak. If given the string is not a combination of valid croak, return minus one. All right, some examples, you have croak, croak, or you have two croaks, but are mixed together somehow. This is valid. If you can't make two croaks, or any number of croaks out of the string, then invalid. So, okay, how, how do we do this? Let's take uh, this one, for example. It says, return the minimum number of different rocks to finish all the croaks in a given string. So it's not actually just to count the number of croaks in here. You actually just, you want to figure out uh, the maximum number of croaks that are interleaved together. So this is actually just one. Because um, it could be just the same frog croaking twice. So um, what I could do is I could have C R O. Uh, uh, o, A, K, and then for each I have a counter. So C is one. And then when I see an R here, so I'm up to R, there needs to be a C before this for the string to be valid. So I need to check what's before R, it's a C. Is that, if I subtract one from that, will that be negative? Well, in this case, no, so it's still valid. If it was negative, then I could just return f uh, minus one. So this would be one now, and I could decrement this. And then I move this up, and then this becomes a one. I guess at all times, I want to get the max. I want I want to say the answer is equal to the sum of this this uh, array. So this will be two at, uh, right now. Let's just say it's equal to two at the moment. So I already know that the answer would be two. Um, would be at least two. And we know that the answer is two. So now we're actually just kind of validating that there are two croaks. The croak, uh, that the string is valid. So we see an O, so let's check if it's valid. We can subtract from this. Yeah, so if, if you imagine these two ones, they represent um, an individual croak. And if we move the A across, then this becomes zero, this becomes a one. So we still have two interleaved croaks. And then we move it to a K, this is finished. And now there's only one croak in progress. So actually, I don't really need to keep track of the K here. Having a one in the K means uh, this this croak is already finished. One croak is already finished. Go to the R. See, if I had, if I had an O just now, it would be invalid, so I can turn minus one. Um, so this would be zero, this would be one. And of course, it's going to move up all the way to this being two. Um, by the end of the string, I need to make sure that C, the sum of this array here, C R O A, is zero. Otherwise, there's already a, there's still a croak in progress, and so the string isn't valid. Okay, let's, let's try that. All right, let's think. Given a character R, I want to map that to an index. Let C be zero. Let R be one. Let zero be two, three, and this be four. So if I see an R, I can map that to a one, and then I could subtract one from that to get the previous uh, value for C. So I could have char 26, and then have a string, croak is equal to croak. Go through each character and croak, M at um, the character, so croak at the index minus A is equal to I. I've mapped each character. Uh, I need to somewhere to store these values. Let's just do a, um, an int array. Call it DP. It's not really DP, is it really? I think it is sort of DP. So I'm going to call it DP with. Um, there's going to be four elements in there for C R O A. And I actually want to initialize that to zero. So let's just put it up here. And then go through each character, get the, the index value, which is going to be M at um, C minus A. I don't need to check if it's an invalid character, so Croco Frog is either CRO AK. If DP at I minus one. Okay, but I have to check if I is, is greater than zero and this is equal to zero, then return minus one. Otherwise, yeah, it will be invalid. I know I have to do um, DP at I plus plus 
if i is less than five if i is less than four actually here i could probably put this in an if statement if dp at i minus one is equal to zero then return minus one or i could say if this is less than zero I also need to keep track of the answer, which is initially zero, and it's keeping track of the sum, the current sum, which is also initially zero, the sum of this uh, array. And this array is going to be sum minus minus here, and sum, sum, and plus plus sum here. And then I could say answer is equal to the max of the answer and the sum, and then I could return the answer. I think there's a case where this fails. So let's say I have C R O A. So almost there, but hasn't completed the string yet. So this will say this two. But okay, so we want the sum to be equal to zero by the time we finish. So then that means we can turn the answer, otherwise return minus one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, let's submit that. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.